What is up guys and welcome back to another one of G.I. Joe Fanatics. Sorry I've been taking so long to get uh, some videos uploaded. Uh, I've recently just got a really big lot that we're going to be doing the unboxing after this one. But this is the one I posted in my community. It was originally supposed to go up yesterday. But I wanted to give this story a little bit of a better backstory. As always I'm getting kind of better at that. I got my little intro going. I'm starting to include some pictures uh, to kind of help uh, when we talk about certain uh things uh you know events and whether it be uniforms or events or whatever but this one's gonna be really special and it's a really special video for me and i hope you guys enjoy this one i have waited a really really long time to get this specific figure there's not a lot out there uh reason b uh because of the dark past that it carries and like for instance say like in uh, France and uh, in like Britain, uh, England and stuff like that. The figures actually like banned. I mean, they have them there, but they're not really technically allowed to sell them there uh, because it's a really sensitive kind of figure and there wasn't a lot made. There were some companies that didn't make them, uh, but there wasn't a lot made just in consideration of the dark history and the dark past uh, that it does carry. Um, but anyway, guys, if you haven't checked it out, um, before we even start this video, um, just for the YouTube moderators or whatever, I would like to say this. So YouTube, you, you paying attention? Okay, cool. You got it? All right, cool. This video is strictly and most importantly only for educational purposes. Uh, this is not to promote or permit any kind of propaganda. Um, it is strictly for educational reasons only. And history lessons and history reasons only and uh, yeah so don't ban this video YouTube I appreciate it but anyway guys we're gonna get into it if you have not checked out the title I'm gonna have to kind of probably do a little something with that so it doesn't get taken down I uh, hope it doesn't uh, but uh, if it does we'll figure something out but uh, if you haven't checked out this is the 1 6 scale Fuhrer, if you know what I'm talking about. And this is going to be a 1-6 scale Fuhrer. Uh, uniform is going to be kind of around 1944 to 45. Um, yes, uh, it is Adolf himself. And I have n pretty much don't want to know what I went through to get this guy. Uh, it, it took me probably close to 10 years uh, to get one. I've seen them here and there, but the price just never really fit. Uh, but I really got this from another collector. Uh, he worked with me on the price, so I was glad that I could finally obtain it. So without further ado, guys, we're going to get into the figure. But first, listen to little, know a little bit about old Adolf himself. So check out this little thing I put together for you guys. Adolf Hitler was born in Braunau, Austria on April 20th, 1889 to Mr. and Mrs. Alois Hitler and Clara Hitler. When Hitler was a child, in fact, reports say that he was a normal child, but by the age of 25, he volunteered to serve in World War I. He was wounded twice. When he got out of the war and the war was over in 1918, he later to become the leader of Nazi Party and set new orders to make Germany a land that fitted his images and desires. He became the leader of Nazi Germany on the 2nd of August, 1934, after Hindenburg's death. Hitler simultaneously became the leader of the state and government which gave him all the power he dreamed, and ruled Nazi Germany as Fuhrer from 1939 to 1945. Fast forward to the fall of Berlin. During the fall of Berlin, as the Soviets pushed into Berlin, Hitler knew the end was near, so he decided to marry Eva Braun on April 29, 1945, inside the Fuhrer's bunker. Eva was Hitler's longtime lover, but the marriage was shortly lived, as both would take their lives less than 24 hours later. By this time, the Soviets had stormed the Reichstag and tore down the Nazi flag and flown the Soviet flag, which represented and stated defeat of Germany. Sadly, on April 30th, 1945, a doctor was in the Fuhrer's bunker and was giving cyanide to some of the higher-ranking generals and officials. Hitler gave his dog with the name of Blondie the first cyanide pill which took its life. Hitler gave orders to have his body and his dogs along with his wife's body to be buried back in the garden. He gave this order to one of his most trusted bodyguards to dispose of his remains. 
On April 30th, 1945, Hitler and his wife retreat inside the Führer bunker. Sometime later, his boss trusted bodyguard outside of the door guarding anyone from entering hears two gunshots. Upon opening up the door, he finds both deceased. Immediately after discovering both, his bodyguard carry out his promised order to have both of their bodies along the dog to be taken to the garden outside the bunker. All three were buried in a shallow grave and doused in gasoline and lit ablaze to prevent any Soviets from identifying who or what he was. If you think this is where it ends, it gets a lot darker. Joseph and his wife Magdalena Gobbles were taking refuge inside the Führer's bunker. After hearing the news of the Führer's death, him and his wife Magdalena decide to take their own lives, but sadly along with their six children. The children were given mixed up sleeping medication made by the scientist doctor. Some of the youngest took it with no problem, but the oldest somewhat refused. Later that night, once the medicine was kicked in, as the children were sleeping, Magdalena snuck inside their room inside the Führer bunker and quietly gave all six children cyanide capsules. The cause of death was cyanide. The murder of these innocent children remains a mystery till this day. Later that morning, reports say that Joseph and Magdalena step out into the garden close to where the Fuhrer's body was and take both of their lives by a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Now with the leader of Nazi Germany defeated, Germany surrenders to the Allies. On May 7th, 1945. Alright guys, we are back. I hope you enjoyed that, by the way. Like I said, man, I am getting a little bit better at the whole editing thing. And uh, I wanted to give that backstory. I wanted to give this figure justice, especially since it's a very important piece to me. And it's taken me so long to get it. I mean, like I said, there's just... It, it's, it's been a touch and go for me uh, finding one. Uh, but, you know, I was able to find it, and, I mean, I'm, I'm happy that I have it, um, but owning such thing, you have to, un I mean, me is you know, a military historian as well, um, I know the sensitivity that it can hold, and, you know, the backstory of the person himself, uh, but, you know, like I say, the channel's, uh, educational reasons, I've been doing this for a while now, guys, um, you should know this by now, if you've been a long-time follower, you know that, uh, you've seen me progress and get better and better when I first started out on here, man, um, I still knew a little bit, but I didn't know enough, but, uh, as I progressed, I got, you know, I got, you know, I learned a lot more, but, but that being said, guys, I've already showed you who he was and how he kind of came about. Uh, you know, how he grew up and, you know, what his, un, you know, his downfall was. But without further ado, guys, I'm happy to present G.I. Joe Fanatics. For the first time, we've showed you some Germans, we showed you some Americans, but for the first time, we have a German leader, the Fuhrer himself. We've got him in, guys. I cannot believe that I got him. Um, he is going to go great with my World War II collection, uh, especially with my, you know, my Waymar Chet, my uh, Luke Waffe, uh, my SS guys. Uh, first write off what you're going to get. Now, brand of this toy, I'm not 100% sure. I have not checked his buttocks because a lot of figures will tell you the brand on their buttocks. Did not come with the box. Um, the seller didn't really have a lot of information uh, to give me on this specific one. But if I had to tell you with my years of experience... Uh, based on the hands and based on, I mean, the quality and the head sculpt and everything, I'll either want to say it's damn toys or sideshow toys. Uh, one of the two. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Um, like I said, don't quote me on that. I'll figure that out later, but let's just go over the figure of the basics here. Uh, I am going to cover this up uh, just for uh, monitoration reasons. Uh, but we all know, uh, I'll just give you a peek of that part. You already know. If you know what it is, you know what it is. Um, he comes with the armband, of course. Uh, right over here, or I'm sorry, right over here, he has an iron cross uh, medal. 
on his tie, on his collar. Um, let's see if I can kind of get this focused in a little bit. Try to block me out. Uh, is it going to focus? I don't think so. It might not focus. Ah, crap. Yeah, it's not going to focus. Uh, he does have um, a propaganda uh, little patch right there on his tie. Uh, underneath it's just a basic white shirt and then of course his uh, trousers like his uh, you know M43 and 44 uh, trousers this is kind of his dress uniform now you would normally see him you've seen him in several different outfits you've seen him in the khaki tan when he's done his speeches um, but I mean far as everything else I'm trying not to show him that we don't need to show that um, but, yeah, his hat, um, you know, on his cap right there, I mean, it's really, really, really nice. Uh, if you if you watch the movie, uh, that's another thing. I want to shout out a quick movie real quick that'll tell you what, everything that you just heard, everything that you just seen. There is a movie that pretty much tells you everything I just told you. But if you're into movies like me, then, yeah, you should check it out. It's called Downfall. Uh, the movie is uh, in German. Uh, but thankfully they do have a, uh, American English subtitles, so you, you can make it out. Uh, it's a good movie. The movie is actually really about the last, you know, couple of weeks, uh, leading up. At the first part of the movie, it shows you a little bit prior, but 90% of the movie, uh, depicts, uh, you know, what his last few days was, uh, during, uh, when he was, you know, taking refuge in the, uh, you know, Fuhrer bunker, and... He had a lot of people in his Fuhrer bunker that I didn't mention. He had a lot of uh, secretaries, uh, a lot of high-ranking generals, and, you know, they all ended up ending their lives. Because, you know, the reason that they did that uh, is because they were trying to avoid uh, capture by the Soviets, and they were going to be sent to, like, a Soviet, uh, you know, prison camp, and, you know... And they and they knew that once they got there, they weren't just going to be... The, the, the intentions were horrible... Uh, but they knew that the, you know, if they did get captured, they, it wasn't just about living in horrible conditions. I mean, they would have been tortured, uh, because of their war crimes. Uh, Heimlich Hitler, uh, he fled, uh, later to be, you know, captured and everything. Uh, but yeah, he fled because he got out of there a few days before, uh, his birthday. And, you know, uh, he actually was going to send out a party to find him, but uh, I'm not sure if they ever made it because no one was getting out of the city. Like, nobody. Like, they, if you took refuge or... And the thing is, is in the last few days, um, he ordered uh, women, uh, children, and, you know, the old, the young, and the weak uh, to stand for Berlin, but once, you know, to fight, you know, to the end. And they all, and, you know, the SS had a sworn allegiance to him, so they were going to fight to the death. And once the Reichstag, uh, took a couple days, I think it took right around three to four days to capture the Reichstag. Um, you know, and, and if you're a fan of video games, if you've ever played Call of Duty World at War, uh, the mission is called, uh, Heart of the Reich. Or, no, it's called Downfall. Downfall, and then the Heart of the Reich. Uh, that is a good mission. It actually show you know, it tells you, um, you know, it helps you figure out what was really going on there. Uh, unfortunately, Downfall doesn't depict that, the movie. Uh, but there's a mission called Downfall, and there's a Heart of the Reich. So Downfall, Heart of the Reich, and Eviction on Call of Duty World at War. Probably my most favorite missions. And then Silo Heights. If you're if you're a fan of the game, if you're an, old, if you're an older uh, audience here, don't even worry about that. It's a great game. You could probably check it out in here on YouTube. But if you have played the game, check that out, man. You're going to like it, I promise. But let's get in a little bit more detail to figure, because that's what we're here for. On the bottom of his boots, these are probably the most detailed German boots that I have actually seen on any figure. Uh, really high detail on that. Uh, it's actually like a like a plaid or something like that. It, it feels like it's real, uh, you know, but it's still nice, though. I mean, they're really shiny. The figure was well taken care of. Um, you know, I've uh, seen some skits. You know, yeah, he does the little low salute. So, you know, we're not going to do the full one on here because um, I'm really not trying to get in trouble here. But, um, you know, uh, you know, I, ha I have to throw little things in here. Uh, you know, little sneak peeks or whatever. Kind of like I just did. 
Uh, just trying to give you a full, uh, you know, a quick little 360 of the guy. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> um, he's really cool. Um, you know, I'm happy that I got him. I've got to get a stand for him. Uh, but, I mean, we'll do we'll do something with him. And I love the uniform. I love the hat. Let's get a quick close-up of the actual detail of the face. Uh, trying to block mine out here. But he does have uh, the blue eyes. Uh, he's got the little, of course, his little famous little uh, broom, broom stash there. There we go. We're trying to get a better, better one right there. Trying to block me out here. And let's get a quick one without his cap. And let's check out that hair, man. Look, that 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 is just like super detailed. I mean, like I I mean I've had some detailed figures, but like you know this the the quality of the detail uh, is to me is better than a dragon uh, figure right now because they've got a lot of good detail. This reminds me of like a damn toys or uh like a did. Uh, brand and the reason I say it's probably not did uh, it might like I said it might be you know I mean I'm familiar with it but I'm not sure who made this particular one just something to do with the hands um, I've seen a lot of these these this kind of hand on uh, you know like damn toys and uh, sideshow toys uh, toys in the past uh, those brands right there uh, not as famous you know in corporation with dragon but I'm not sure if it is Dragon or not. I will have to do some research on this, guys. I'll post it in the community uh, what he ends up being. I will do some research on it. Like I said, the seller didn't give me much information on the brand. Uh, but, you know, I'll I'll do my best to figure that out for you guys. But real quick, we'll do a, a little 360 here before we cut out. I mean, just giving you a little detail of that right there. That is nice. Had to do that one. Had to had to give you a little sneak peek real quick. Um, put the hat back on here. Ooh, come on, put your hat back on, man. You gotta look respectable, even though that no one really liked you. Uh, but <laughs> um, yeah, that's a uh, that's that's a great uh, that's a, that's a great shirt. You know, um, I have to throw little things in there like that. You know, I have to be shh, careful. But, uh, I think he's got something on his belt here, um, if you've seen that, um, it's going across his sash here, that's really nice, that is, like, very fragile, so I don't want to do anything to that, uh, I've got to be, uh, very easy on his uniform here, uh, but, you know, like I said, he's gonna be in a showcase, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'll try not to, you know, get any kind of dust on him or anything, but, anyway, guys, um, that is him. That is the one six scale Fuhrer. Um, you know, uh, and again, before uh, we're just gonna sit him over here for just a, just just a second. Um, anyway, guys, I would like to say this, and I know I've already said this again, but I want to say it again because uh, YouTube um, gets kind of touchy on certain things. I would like to say this again. I'm not the best at it, but I'm gonna give it a go. This video, this entire video is strictly for educational reasons uh for military history and for history lessons you can research this you can use this if you need to uh again this is educational and i hope that it helps you uh and intelligerizes you uh in your military history and i do hope you enjoyed it um sincerely youtube um, <laughs> but i hope you enjoyed it guys and look i've got quick update a uh, couple updates actually Got the ramp installed on the landing craft, so uh, he will be featured in the movie. I have written, or in the works of writing, a end scene for the script of the movie. Um, I'm going to install that, and I unfortunately have to find another swimming pool, because the people that own the swimming pool uh, are actually getting it worked on. So I will have to reconstruct a water landing scene, uh, because I had it all detailed, guys. Like, I had it, like... Uh, you know, the sand put, you know, down everything, so it would, it would look really good. Uh, but, you know, I have to work on that, and we'll, we'll, we'll get it eventually. It's not going to be that hard. I, I can actually reconstruct, uh, quite a bit. Uh, I have a follower on, uh, Facebook, uh, that told me how I can, uh, get a good beach scene, and I can get the X cross ties in there. It's all going to work out. I'm, I'm getting a, a bunker built, uh, something similar to the Saving Private Riven, uh, Saving Private Riven, Saving Private Ryan, 
uh, D-Day uh, landing uh, scene. So it'll be something like that, just one six scale. So we'll get that done. And another quick update, two other updates. You're going to love this. If you love this one, hope you enjoyed this one. We have got, this has been requested by, I don't know how many people that follow me. Uh, a good percentage of the people that follow me, uh, TikTok, everything else. Uh, they have requested this, and I finally, finally got some pieces put together to do this. If you're a fan of the movie Platoon, I officially got some figures from the movie. I will not tell you because I don't want to spoil the surprise. Uh, but you already know I have Elias. Haven't done a video on him yet, but I do have Elias, but that's all I'm telling you on that. I have gotten two figures from the movie you are going to enjoy because we're going to show them all three right here together along with some nva guys and then we're going to post some shorts on tiktok and then eventually we're going to do platoon one six scale so that's coming up uh before that i just recently got a huge huge lot of guys i'm talking probably like i'm probably oh, close to 100 i have close to 100 figures to show you guys uh we'll have to do that next after this one uploads but we will do it I will carefully go through them. You'll see what I got. I got some really cool guys in there. You guys are going to enjoy it. I got a mixed bundle lot of all kinds of figures. Everything from Civil War all the way to World War II and a couple of uh, Vietnam guys. So you will like that. I hope you'll like it because uh, there's some really good stuff in that box. You guys have to stay tuned for that one. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been educational. It's been a minute since we got to do a nice one like this. I'm trying to get better on doing my editing, but stick with me, and it'll just get better as we progress. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. And you know, I'm Tyler. This is G.I. Joe Fanatics. Out.